Hello friends! So I'm sure that you guys read the title. Today we're going to Harajuku. And that's assuming that you guys can read, of course. And that's being generous. <laughs> I don't know where this sass is coming from today, oh my goodness! So I actually went last week to Harajuku to go to the Daiso, and I filmed a little Daiso haul. I'll link that somewhere <laughs> but today i wanted to do some like good old-fashioned shopping it's actually been a really long time since i've like genuinely walked through harajuku and like looked in the stores and truly truly shopped there so i wanted to bring you guys along show you the cute little shops and just reminisce because i used to do this when i was like a teenager visiting japan so without further ado let's go So one of the first shops you'll see when you enter Takeshita Street is Wigo, which was having a massive summer sale when I went. Everything was like 500 yen, so around 5 bucks. The store has a lot of trendy streetwear for super affordable prices, so this is very popular among the youngins. I used to be obsessed with Wigo when I studied abroad here because I was a broke bitch, but that didn't stop me from living out my Harajuku girl fantasies. I also noticed and appreciated how many dad shorts and dad pants they had out there in the store. Also, my recent obsession has been cherries, so I was thrilled to see this black poofy sleeve top. And of course, the next stop was Paris Kids. Literally everyone needs to stop by here if they come to Harajuku. It has the cutest accessories and jewelry, and most of their items are only 300 yen. They had all this gaudy kind of like costume jewelry out in the front of the store and I was living for it. They had so many different styles and colors and all at different price points. Like I loved these little heart ones. Whoa, these are the biggest scrunchies I've ever seen. <laughs> WC is a must see. See what I did there? <laughs> I've been entranced by this store ever since I was a little kid when my mom would take my little sister and I to Harajuku and we were like foaming at the mouth over all the kawaii pastel clothes and we were crying to her like, why couldn't we have been raised in Japan, damn it? Well, I guess things worked out since I live here now as an adult, swiftly avoiding the rigorous and competitive Japanese schooling system that induces an insurmountable amount of stress on the Japanese youth, practically stripping them of their childhood, only to be thrown into a workforce that requires pretty much daily unpaid overtime and blind devotion to the corporate superiors. <laughs> Anyway, enough social commentary, let's distract ourselves with some cute vintage clothing and nostalgic toys from our childhood. I love coming in here mostly for the super extra displays, like this is what I wish my childhood bedroom looked like until I entered my teen years and realized how much hyper femininity is demonized, but thank god for stores like this where I can bask in all things cute and girly. They have a really curated collection of vintage clothes, so it definitely isn't cheap, but you don't have to dig through piles and piles of clothes just to find one cute item. Everything here was adorable and it makes for a great photo op. So off one of the side streets, there's this thrift shop that has pretty decent prices compared to other ones here in Tokyo. I love this grocery cart full of vintage scarves. All of them were only 900 yen each. And as I entered the store, I was like cackling at these aggressive Barbies. <laughs> and I wonder what the obsession is with Barbie dolls and vintage stores here in Japan. 
but this store has a fun bohemian kind of hipster vibe, so very different from the main street of Harajuku. And bish, you know I'm about to indulge in my unhealthy obsession. I am a hoe for Sanrio, okay? I said it. But they recently came out with so many cute Kuromi products, like these adorable plushy keychains. <laughs> and of course, they always have an array of stationary products, but like this one pen was 700 yen, which I think is pretty steep considering that I just got some cute Sanrio pens from the Daiso for only 100 yen. Also, y'all, I was so close to buying these mini snow globes. They even had Harajuku written on them, and they had Kuromi and Pom Pom Pudding, two of my my freaking faves and also i'm not done gagging because i was so shook to see that they had some of the limited edition sakura sanrio items i still get emotional thinking about this plushie and i really liked the hand towels as well and what can i even say about these sanrio hair clips like honestly i just had to get out of this store while i still could So I made it to the end of Takeshita Street and I was so excited because I saw this man walking a shit ton of dogs and I literally see this guy all the time. Like, who is he? Is he a dog walker? Are they his dogs? Does anyone else see him? Like, please let me know in the comments. Anyway, I love these back streets of Harajuku. This is entering more Omotesando area, which is a little less chaotic and a little quieter. And I got this footage the day I went shopping at Daiso, so I have on a completely different outfit in these shots, so I hope that clears up any confusion. whoop de doo so this is one of my favorite stores in all of Tokyo. All their clothes and accessories are so colorful, always so on trend. And for the longest time, I've been wanting a new pair of cherry earrings because quite frankly, I don't know what happened to my last pair. But anyway, I could spend hours in this store just because they have such an insane variety of accessories and jewelry. and then Baz store, which are some of my favorite thrift shops here. So there are a lot of Second Street locations throughout Tokyo, and each one has a really different, unique vibe. The one in Harajuku, though, is very posh, and you can tell that they only buy clothes that are in really good shape and are often from really nice brands. So it's definitely pretty upscale for being a recycle store. They also had this impressive wall of all designer items, like this Gucci bag was over $800, and this mini Louis backpack was over a grand. And I'm surprised by how trusting they are to just keep it out in the open like this. So then I went right next door and was immediately drawn to these Nikes because I definitely have them pinned on my Pinterest board and they were under 3,000 yen which is really good. Baz store is usually really fairly priced in my opinion so I would highly recommend to check it out if you ever come across one in Tokyo. You know I love a vomit green color but then I was like girl she's Versace and only 16.90? Like okay Baz store. So TBH, I only went to Tokyo Plaza because I really had to pee. <laughs> there was a great opportunity to film the infamous abstract mirrored entrance. It's definitely one of the most unique spots in Tokyo and is a great spot for photography. And that wraps it up. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me in Harajuku and until next time, bye bye